Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be looking at another chocolate. Now uh, this chocolate is from Coles. So the thing with Coles brand of products is you can only get them from Australia um, because it's it's just products, you know, the house brand of products. So um, you know, if you're not in Australia, well, whatever, can't get it. Anyway, let's check this out. So this one is 70% dark cacao. Belgian chocolate, apparently. I'll find out in a second if it actually is Belgian chocolate. Carefully crafted? No, it wasn't. A machine can't carefully craft something, it just chucks it out and just comes out as a block. But they can say what they like. UTZ certified seems to make a difference to someone. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I try to look for that. UTZ certified chocolate really actually does actually taste nicer, but I don't really know what's going on the other side of the scale. Anyway. Um, it's got a vegetarian tick in the back, we'll just check the ingredients. You've got cocoa mass, sugar, cacao butter, natural vanilla flavouring, and that's it. So there's no milk or anything in this. Um, it does say made in Belgium, so that is good. Belgian chocolate is actually quite nice. Um, now, the thing about this particular chocolate is, some people will know this, if you're in Australia, and you ate this stuff, is a while back, Coles planned to change their recipe to include milk in their dark chocolate varieties. And people had a problem with that, blah blah blah, so they decided to keep the recipe as it is. So apparently it's supposed to be pretty good, I haven't tried it before, so uh, they've kept the recipe without milk, which is good. So I picked this up to try this out. Now, there's not much more to say about it because it is just basically, you know, straight out dark chocolate. They've got some story in the back about chocolate making in Belgium, uh, expertly made in Belgium finish whatever people write. But only the taste will tell us the truth. So let's find out. This up. Oh, can't smell anything yet. Let's check this out, shall we? Oh. It smells nice, but um, a little bit of that, that white dust that you get in chocolate when it's old. I wonder how old this is. Best before February 2019. Chocolate usually has about a year and a half to expiry date on it. So this was, this is what about halfway through its life, I suppose. So it does have that in it, you can see that, but it's got a bit of that white sort of dust on top of chocolate. So I expect this to be a little more brittle than it's supposed to be. We might lose some of that indulgent creaminess that they try to talk up on it. But. Yeah. It's 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 very brutal. That's <laughs> that's unfortunate. I mean what 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 I go out of your way to say all that carefully crafted crap and all that indulgent stuff. I don't I, I just gonna put it like that. But what do you expect? It's all So um you know, I guess if we try a whole if we try a whole piece I don't know why it's funny, it's just, I don't know, it's, I shouldn't expect too much of a, of a Coles brand. A Coles, <laughs> I don't know, a Coles brand product. I think we might pick this up. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of creaminess to it on the end of the palette there, but it's really disappointing how brittle this is. I mean, I, I can't say, I cannot say I expect it better because it is just Coles. Home brand stuff in general has almost always been crap, but sometimes you get a good one here and there, and I think it's a good one. Maybe it's nice when it's fresh, I don't know. But with something as brutal as this, there's better stuff out there. But it is cheap. Full price, two fifty. So I don't know. As I said with the, uh, what was the other brand of chocolate I tried? Black and green chocolate? You get what you pay for. You pay $2.50, you get this rubbish. You get the other block, which was uh, the same size and it's like $5. I mean, that was really nice, so it is what it is. Anyway, that's whatever. So, uh, thanks for watching and 
like, comment, subscribe, or don't like, comment, subscribe. I don't know if it actually makes a difference, really. I mean, whatever. What's gonna happen? Anyway, uh, that's all. So I'll see you next time.